She's the woman who helped bring the fight for trans rights to the mainstream. People are getting to meet trans people and get to know us as human beings. And I think when we get to know folks as human beings, all our misconceptions about people who are different from us melt away. Actress and advocate Laverne Cox. Laverne has been performing her entire life. She started studying dance at eight in Mobile, Alabama, where she grew up alongside her identical twin brother, M. Lamar. As a teen, her talent earned her a scholarship to the prestigious Alabama School of Fine Arts in Birmingham. But it wasn't until college that she discovered acting. The work as an actor is to bring as much dimension to a character as possible. It was also during her college years that Laverne began openly identifying as transgender. After graduating, Laverne decided to pursue acting, but struggled to land roles. She was discouraged by the lack of trans representation in Hollywood until she saw a fellow trans actress, Candace Kane. First story that made me feel like my identity was really represented on screen had to be Candace Kane in Dirty Sexy Money in 2007. What's so sad about that is that I was 35 years old <laughs> when this moment happened. Five years later, Laverne finally got her own big break as inmate Sophia Bursette in Orange is the New Black. Listen, Doc, I need my dosage. I'm finally who I'm supposed to be. Do you understand? I can't go back. The show was a hit and Laverne became a household name. I've been so blessed to travel the world and meet specifically trans folks, but LGBTQ people who said to me that they, this show gave them courage to come out to their families. This show gave them courage to transition, to believe that they could be trans and be an actor. In another pivotal moment for trans visibility, she became the first trans person to appear on the cover of Time magazine in 2014. That same year, she made Emmy history. It was the first trans woman to win as an executive producer for her work on the Logo TV documentary, The T Word. She's a trailblazer and has helped Americans everywhere to understand what it's like to be trans. The reality of, of trans people's lives is that so often we're targets of violence. When we focus on transition, we don't actually get to talk about those things. These days, Laverne is continuing to act and inspire. In 2020, she appeared alongside Lena Waithe in the horror film, Bad Hair, and executive produced the documentary film, Disclosure, about transgender people working in Hollywood. Laverne Cox, a woman who kicks open a closed door when she sees one, and helps others walk through it too. It's really about um, so many amazing trans folks all over the country who are um, letting their voices be heard and saying this is who we are and this is how we should be treated.